What's going on everyone? Dropping into this video because today we are talking about getting the best possible sitting and lying down motion capture from your Rococo system. Because of the way Rococo motion capture is processed via foot contacts and knowing how your body is shifting its weight, there are a few things that you can run into when you're trying to record sitting motion capture and lying down motion capture that can be a little bit tricky. After all, sometimes your feet just aren't touching the ground. What do you do? Thankfully, there's a ton of really easy things that you can do and today I'm going to show you how I record sitting motion capture and a few best practices for recording the best possible sitting motion capture. Okay, let's jump into it. Okay, so let's start by just taking a look at this basic example. And you know, I'm just sitting down in the chair and you can see everything is fine as long as I have at least one foot that's touching the ground. However, as soon as I raise up both feet, um, you can see that we get this very bizarre result because Rococo Studio has no idea what's going on, right? It thinks for all this time, our feet aren't on the ground and something wonky is happening. So we can look at that and one option would be to say, hey, okay, always just keep one foot on the ground. And that's true, that can help, right? It's good to play within the sandbox of Rococo. Rococo likes it when it knows where a foot is. So try to keep a foot on the ground. However, of course, that's not always going to be possible. And more than that, if I'm moving and tapping my foot a lot, we might still get some weird artifacts. So thankfully, there's a pretty easy way to deal with this, and that's just by completely turning off this locomotion system. So if I sit down here and I go over, I have my clip selected, I'm in my details panel, and I just turn off locomotion, you can see that we just get rid of all this stuff. And what that means is that my character is no longer going to be moving in space. So I can't, for instance, walk over to the chair because basically my hips are locked in place. But what that means is that we can get really good sitting motion capture or any type of motion capture where we don't need to be moving around in space. And you can see that this is absolutely perfect. Even complicated movements, even spinning, it's all working. When I try to stand up, of course, it's not working, but that's one of the sacrifices you just have to make when you're working with sitting motion capture. And you can plan around that. Just knowing about that limitation and that way to get around it, I think can be really valuable when you're planning out your shots, right? It's totally possible to get all this sitting motion capture, but you might need to think about how do I get into the chair? Do it, does that need to be a separate shot? Things like that. So let's take another look at turning off locomotion and what that does at a lying down motion capture asset. So let's play this back again. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna take my feet and put them off the ground. And you can see Rococo Studio is freaking out. And it just doesn't really know what to do with me. So. Then I go and I, I kind of lie down. This turned out pretty good actually. And my recommendation is always to check, you know, how things turn out with locomotion on. Maybe parts of this are good and you want it in this form. However, you can obviously tell that there's just some wonkiness with the way you're moving right there. And I could go in and I could do foot contact cleanups and all this sort of stuff. But at the end of the day, the way to get the best result is just to turn off locomotion. Let's turn off locomotion. And now this is perfect. You know, we might have to do a little bit of editing or something, but this is totally good now. And you can see even complicated movements like lying down. I still get all the twisting of the body. You know, my foot is through the floor, but I think that's actually more accurate compared to what I recorded. And so you can get really complicated shots like this, like lying down, even, you know, being cross-legged. Look at how great that looks. But it just means that your hips are not gonna be translating through space. So it's a little hacky turning off locomotion, but you get a fantastic result. And you can just get things like floating in space or other things that you would never be able to record with locomotion on. So it's really good to know about that option for sitting, for lying down, for anything where your feet are not touching the ground. Okay, I just said all that stuff about turning off locomotion, but also if we play back this side by side with locomotion on, you can see that I can just be kind of aware of the limitations and be totally fine, right? Not have to turn off locomotion, not have to sacrifice moving around the scene and getting up. And you can see even, you know, complicated movements like moving my feet around or doing things like driving. This might be better with locomotion off, but 
it's still going to be really good like this, as long as both feet are not off the ground for extended periods of time. And in the same vein as that, here's another clip. Didn't do anything. I don't even think I did any editing at all on this clip. And you get a perfectly great, you know, final result. Play this back one more time. And it would be very easy to go into Unreal Engine, you know, parent a uh, desk chair to the hip bone of this character, and then it would slide right along the floor with my character. So to summarize, remember how Rococo foot contact motion capture works, right? As soon as you take both feet off the floor, you're gonna get those wonky results. But one thing that you can do to combat that is just turn off that locomotion filter. You won't be moving around anymore, but your sitting and lying motion capture will just look perfect. And again, that being said, you can always leave locomotion on and you get great results too, like what we saw with the spinny chair. If you have any other questions, please put them down in the comments below. But I hope this was helpful and I hope it gave you a little edge when you're trying to record that super smooth sitting and lying motion capture. Okay, good luck out there everyone and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!